Thanks so much for joining us here at 630. The Minnesota Attorney General's race is a toss-up, and now Democratic incumbent Keith Ellison's record is at the forefront of two new TV ads. The ads paint Ellison's record in two different lights. In fact, a new fact check political reporter Theo Keith says both mislead voters. Attorney General Keith Ellison and challenger Jim Schultz have traded attacks, endorsements, and now TV ads. Let's start with Schultz's ad that turns up the heat on Ellison. Your vote for Attorney General comes down to one question. Do you trust Keith Ellison to keep you and your family safe? His record says no. As police sirens wail, on screen the ad says Ellison partnered with Congresswoman Ilhan Omar to defund the police. This is misleading because it conflates last year's failed Minneapolis police ballot measure with actual defunding. Ellison endorsed the ballot question, putting him at odds with other Democrats like Governor Tim Walz. It would have eliminated the city's minimum staffing requirement, leaving funding decisions up to future city councils. Ellison would not have had a vote. Keith Ellison is extreme. He let violence spread like cancer. We're not checking this intangible claim, rather the on-screen text that says Ellison let violent crime spike 63% since taking office. That is false. We looked at state data since 2018, the year before Ellison took office. Overall violent crime in that time is up 42%. That's a lot, but not as much as Schultz says. Where did the 63% figure come from? That refers specifically to a subset of violent crime, aggravated assault. Now let's look at Ellison's ad. As attorney general, I hired more criminal prosecutors to work with law enforcement all over Minnesota and take on the most serious crimes. Ellison's characterization is misleading in two ways. First, counties handle most criminal cases in Minnesota. The attorney general's role is limited to when a county attorney wants help or the governor takes a case away from a county. Ellison also doesn't say how many criminal prosecutors he's added, and that's important context. As of this summer, three criminal attorneys worked in the AG's office, up from one when Ellison got the job. Neither Ellison nor Schultz say three is enough. Schultz wants 30. Ellison asked for 10, but Republican lawmakers brushed aside the request. That sets up this final claim from Hennepin County Attorney Mike Freeman, an Ellison supporter. He's fought for millions of dollars in more funding to prosecute more violent criminals, and he hasn't lost a case. While it's true that Ellison's office hasn't lost a criminal case over four years, because of the AG's limited role, there aren't many cases. 43 to be exact. The AG's staff say about two-thirds of them ended in convictions. The rest are still active. I'm Theo Keith, and that's a Fox 9 Fact Check.